This is TechCrunch. This episode is sponsored by Lohika. Headquartered in Silicon Valley with offices around the world, Lohika helps growth stage technology companies engineer the next big thing. They collaborate closely with their clients' engineering organizations to transform them from bottlenecks to growth drivers. Lohika's clients are driven to develop the most disruptive and impressive products and services. Lohika shares this passion. It's what they were built for. Need help growing and scaling your engineering teams? Lohika provides agile teams of software engineers who become seamless extensions of your team. Lohika works with leading tech companies, including Pinterest, PagerDuty, Okta, Twilio, Asana, Checkout.com, and Affirm. To learn more, visit lohika.com. That's L O H I K A.com. Specify automatically collects, stores, and distributes your design tokens and assets by Romain D.A. Meet Specify, a startup that is creating a common language for Figma and GitHub. Specify acts as a central repository and API for your design tokens and assets. In other words, designers can update canonical Figma files and changes will be reflected in GitHub repositories. The startup raised a $4.6 million, 4 million euro seed round led by Eurozio. BPI France's Digital Venture Fund, 360 Capital, and Seed Camp are participating participating as well. Some business angels also invested in the company, such as Clément Vouillon and Didier Forrest. When organizations start to get serious about design, they want to create a design system with a unified style for buttons, icons, fonts, logos, colors, and more. For instance, the login page looks completely different on Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, or Pinterest. And yet, it often remains a manual process for both designers and developers. Designers create documentation pages with design tokens and assets in Confluence or Notion. Developers then manually have to check the documentation and make sure that they're using the latest elements. Specify acts as a central repository for your design tokens and assets. You first connect Specify with one or several sources, as well as one or several destinations. For instance, you can fetch information and data from Figma files directly. Designers can update something in Figma and changes will be reflected in the Specify repository. Specify acts as the single source of truth. But changes can also appear in your application more quickly. When something is updated, Specify can automatically create a pull request on GitHub. There's also a command line interface. Developers can accept changes in one click. This way, colors, logos, fonts, and more are updated without any manual work. Specify doesn't want to restrict its product to Figma and GitHub. There will be more data sources down the road, such as Dropbox and Google Drive. And Specify will be able to update more destinations, such as Notion. The ability to push one design change to multiple destinations could be particularly useful. The product vision is clear. Specify wants to become the unifying glue of design teams. With our approach, we consider our product quite similar to Segment, but for design, co-founder and CEO Valentin Chretillon told me. Spoken Layer